up until recently. The first thing 97-year-old Wang Yongfu did when he got up before dawn was to paint. He painted walls inside his home, outside, and on his neighbors. This when almost everyone around him was moving away. I was bored and I did not want to leave, so I started painting. I was supposed to paint 16 houses, but I ended up painting only 11. Around 1,200 houses once stood in what used to be a veteran settlement. But developers have snapped up most of them. The only residents left in what's known now as Rainbow Village are Huang Yongfu and his wife. After seeing my work, a lot of people clamored for the preservation of whatever is left of my village. Finally, the mayor relented. Over a decade ago, when Huang Yongfu, otherwise known as Rainbow Grandpa, started painting this village, he never expected this would be a hit among tourists. But now, every year, over a million of them come and visit this place. Those running the art and tourist destination are the same people who helped spare Huang Yongfu from having to leave his home. This place is something Tai Chong can really be proud of. So as a local, I want to be able to continue contributing to its growth and preservation. Whenever he can, Huang Yongfu also interacts with visitors. And for a number of lucky ones, his artwork, on paper, signed. Barnabilo, CGTN, Taichung.